Good day everyone. Today I'm going to share to you how to compute a crime rate in a particular city or municipality, crime solution efficiency, and crime clearance efficiency of, of a particular police station based on a hypothetical data that I have made up. So let us start. Let us start with crime rate. How to compute crime rate? But before computing crime rate, let us first determine what is crime rate. What is a crime rate? A crime rate is simply the risk of victimization of a particular individual in a particular city. Uh, the, the formula of crime rate is the number of reported crimes over or divided by population to total population times 100,000. For example, in X municipality, we have a population of 20,000 in 2020. And the number of robbery incidents in 2020 was 15. So there were 15 robbery incidents in 2020, for example, this is just an example, and 20,000 uh, people or based on a census in X municipality. So how to solve crime rate? So again, crime rate, the formula is number of reported crimes, so that is 15, divided by population, that is the total population of X municipality, as assumed that it is 20,000 in 2020, and times multiplied by 100,000. This is a base rate, a base rate. So let us start. So solution, so when you solve in Excel, I'm working in Excel, type equals, so this is the formula, open parenthesis, type 15, the number of robbery incidents in 2020, divided by the sign of the symbol for divided by in Excel is slash divided by then type 20,000, close parenthesis, so you have 15 divided by 20,000 already, times, the symbol for times or multiplication is asterisk, 100,000. Then, click, uh, enter, so the crime rate or robbery rate in X municipality in 2020 was 75. 75 meaning, what is the meaning of this? Per 100,000 people in X municipality, there were about 75 who were at risk of being victimized of the crime of robbery. So crime rate reflects the risk of being victimized in a given city or municipality. So that's how we compute crime rate. You can also compute it this way. An alternative one equals, you just click, uh, you click 15, then slash 20,000, click 20,000, then asterisk 100,000. So this is shortcut. So the same, it's 75. Or equals open parenthesis, click 15, slash, click 20,000, close parenthesis, asterisk 100,000, enter. So you have 75. So those are the ways of computing crime rate using Excel. So the robbery rate of X municipality in 2020 was 75. So 75 people per 100,000 population were at risk of being victimized of the crime of robbery. Why is there a need, by the way, of 100,000? There is a need for a base rate of 100,000. This is because if in times we, we compare two years, two years or three different years or two decades that have different population, 
so we can compare them because if we use if we do not use 100,000 or as our base rate we cannot compare two different periods or two municipalities for that matter for example in municipality X municipality X had 20,000 population in 2020 but municipality Y had 50,000 and they had the same number of robbery incidents 15 so we cannot say that they have the same crime rate because they have different population so to to standardize so standardize crime rate we use the base population of 100,000 you can also use 1,000 you can also use 1,000 no it depends on you but here in the Philippines we typically use 100 so that's the rationale for crime rate now let's go to the next uh, statistics that we want simple statistics that we want to calculate crime solution efficiency of a particular police station so how efficient is a particular police station in solving particular crime type of crime the same example is robbery in 2020 there were for example 15 robbery in 20, robbery incidents in 2020 and the number of solved robberies in 2020 were 10 incidents so how do we compute crime solution efficiency the formula for crime solution efficiency is the number of solved crimes divided by crime volume meaning the total number of robbery incidents in 2020 times 100,000 oh, 100 times 100 to re represent 100 percent so what is this when do we consider a particular crime solved so this is the definition of NAPOCOM memorandum circular number 94-017 a case shall be considered solved when the following elements con concur the offender has been identified that is one there is sufficient evidence to charge him <clears throat> that's the second the offender has been taken into custody this is the most important element and the offender has been has been charged before the prosecutor's office or court of appropriate jurisdiction so there are four requisites when we can say a particular crime is being is considered solved by the philippine national police it is solved when again the offender has been identified there is sufficient evidence gathered to charge him the offender has been taken into custody he has been arrested already and taken into custody and the offender has been charged before the prosecutor's office or court of appropriate jurisdiction so these are the instances when we can say that that a crime is a case is solved that's the definition of the national police commission as used by the philippine national police so let us compute the crime solution efficiency of the x police station in 2020 on robbery incidents so again there were 15 robbery incidents in 2020 and 10 of them were solved by the x police station so let us start solving so type the equal sign open parenthesis type 10 the solved cases 10 there were because there were 10 solved cases look at the formula 10 solved cases divided by the crime volume which was 15 so 15 type 15 then close parenthesis times that's asterisk times 100 so the crime solution efficiency of the x police station in 2020 on robbery incidents was 66.66667 or we can round it if into uh, 66.67 okay so that's the crime solution efficiency or you can solve it like this equals open parenthesis click 10 slash click 
15 close parenthesis asterisk 100 so the same outcome so that's the crime solution efficiency showing us how efficient is the police station particular police station in solving a particular type of crime within a particular uh, period in a particular jurisdiction so they solved their uh, their crime solution efficiency was 66 or 67 percent so that's six out of ten or seven if we round it off next crime clearance efficiency so this is how you solve crime clearance efficiency but when do we say that a particular crime is cleared a particular crime is cleared when a case shall be considered cleared when at least one of the offenders has been identified there is sufficient evidence to charge him and he has been charged before the prosecutor's office or any other court of appropriate jurisdiction included in this category are solved cases so what's the difference between cleared case and a solved case if you remember earlier i i i highlighted that a solved case in a solved case the offender should be should have been taken into custody so we can always say that a case has been solved by the pnp or the philippine national police when the offender has been taken into custody however on the other hand in terms of crime clearance efficiency we can say that a case is cleared regardless of whether the offender has been taken into custody or not so even if the offender has not been taken into custody meaning he he has absconded or he he has fled away and has not yet arrested by the police police officers the crime is still considered cleared when again the offenders have been identified or at least one of them has been identified there is sufficient evidence to charge him and he has been charged before the prosecutor's office or any other court of appropriate jurisdiction and included in this category are solved crimes what does this mean it means that crime clearance efficiency includes solved crimes in other words cleared cases includes solved cases but not the other way around because solved cases does not include cleared some cleared cases wherein the offenders have not yet been arrested but in terms of crime, crime clearance efficiency in cleared cases even if the offender has not yet been arrested that case is still considered cleared when again the requisites are these requisites are present the three one even if the offender has not yet been arrested so in other words crime clearance efficiency may be equal uh, may be equal or uh, may be equal to crime solution efficiency or lesser or more than crime solution efficiency and crime solution efficiency may be equal or lesser than crime clearance efficiency so let us start computing so type the equal sign uh, type the open parenthesis type 13 because that is uh, the cases cleared number of cases cleared 13 in 2020 slash then the crime volume the total volume of robberies in 2020 that is 15 close parenthesis then asterisk times 100 the result is 86.6667 percent or let's round it off to 86.67 percent so that's the crime solution a crime clearance efficiency of the X police station that would be all hopefully that has helped you in solving the crime rate
crime solution and crime clearance efficiency of your particular police station. Thank you everyone and God bless.